Oh boy, we're coming back, I think. Alright, with that puzzle complete, welcome back to the let's play of Phoenix Wright, his attorney, Rise to the Ashes. Yeah, I know it's been 4 minutes, but at least it's done. Uh huh? Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. That only took me 2 minutes to do, the problem is finishing it. Were some, were some pieces, were some pieces stolen? I bet we were missing to begin with. Still... It doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I can't understand how it got broken. Okay, what else you got to say? Nothing? Let's keep on examining. What is the sign pain doing here? Since the dawn of time. True Heart has always been a war against oppression. True Heart? I don't think that there's blue and yellow pens here. 
Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the Blue Badger? Well, you might say this is my studio. Here, in the evidence room. Okay. What's this? Blood! It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright, why are there all the blue things in the room? We should use our testing fluid to check it out. Okay. How do we do that? Where's the fluid? No, that's not what I meant to do. Present? Now we just say one thing, speaking of the detective. If I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I said nothing. Nothing. That's fine. You bet it's fine, pal. Okay, yeah, well, I just want to spray. Spray to use. Where is that spray? No. I know where the spray button is on the DS, but here... How the hell did you do this? I don't get it. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be some evidence for some case. I wonder if the system gun should put this here. There you go, pal. Making me some out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet it's evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you think anything hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty and ripped. The guard tracks them that kind of stuff and that finds the detective responsible. How many times have I had them briefing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like this is going to shoot his evidence hanging out of that too. I bet it's not taking a shirt under the trench coat either. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, Paul. Yeah, okay. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is! Ha! That's my personal pole! I never did get around to using it! Wait, I have seen that somewhere before. Right, Paul! There's a bit of detector! The one that led to the solving of that case out on the court lake, remember? Oh, right! Wow, that way, that way it's like it was ages ago. And... Uh, I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that! That's already your indicator! I it would come in and do some in some cases sooner or later! The cheap looking vice. You can read a person or a machine by the cover! You gotta look at their heart! Okay. Wow, look at this big pile of junk in the corner! That looks like... a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs tissued to frame. Maybe the guy cuff was some sort of escape artist and got away? Hey, that's one of those human profiles for wrench testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better in than us. Okay, this was already checked, so was this. Okay, seriously, how do you spray? Spray to use. No. No, I, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to present. How do you spray?
got nothing here. Oh, what is this? Someone use a marker to write their name on this. Hey, Emma Sky. Don't tell me you bring this with you everywhere you go. Well, you never know where something might go down. Just what kind of a world do you think we live in? Okay. Um. And the idea is there would be a spray button right now. Why do I not have a spray button? This isn't good. Are you kidding me? It took me over an hour, but I finally figured out how to open the code record with the Wiimote. You've got to be kidding me. I only had to press the plus button. That never worked before. And now I can even look at profiles. Why is that worth? Tingam Shoe, Emma Sky, Lana Sky, Hendra Star, Drake Marshall, Bruce Goodman. Oh, that guy's old. Mike McKeans. And now, this is how I'm going to spray. Oh great, I need to face my... Uh... Oh, Why is there blood here? I just meant to vaporize everywhere. Why am I getting erection here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot. If you fled out the door, this just might be something significant. Hey! That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, Paul! What, this? It's called liminal testing fluid. What are you getting on that? Huh? I like them so too! I just borrowed 50 bucks from the chief! Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better drop this down on the floor plans. Okay. Anything else here? No? Okay. Nope. Put some blood here. I knew it! This is someone's right hand, right hand print. What? What's the matter, detective? D this locker, it's mine! It's yours? Please! You have to help me! Why don't you come to take me away? Perhaps you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly! Get that for me, won't you, balls? This is an important clue. I hate to sit down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys! Believe me, you can trust the police! Well, but you're a detective! Okay, I believe I saw something happen here. There is a lot of blood here. There must have been a massive amount of blood here. I've never seen so much before. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe detective Goodman was actually an alien? This proves that something this proves that something really happened in front of this liker. I may get it a bit from the floor plant. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have just yeah, that came out wrong. Hey Paul, look at the time! Was that something you needed to be going to? It's just that Pizza Retro's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to go give them a report for the day. It might help, you know. R report? You mean that not return on the back of the flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's the Tetra we're talking about. Andrew can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who is heavy is when you got friends like the Tetra Gumshoe. I'm off, Paul. Later. I should probably see what his wrote to say, too. Very well, I guess we're done here. So let's make our way out and back to Edward's place. I said out.
And now we'll ever to the underground parking lot. Hello, Angel. And back into the high prosecutor's office. Ah, yes. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edward, I beg your leave. So long. Is Edward here? There, standing by the window. A teacup in his hand. Ah, it's you. He has the order of bringing tea service? Mr. Edward? You're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? Precisely. By the way, that's the guy who was looking for you. Oh yes, he brought me some information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Uh, I think the report is on the other side, Edward. Poor Mr. Edward, I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Okay, let's talk. So, how did the inquiry come to go? Actually, we decided to treat this not as a case of anti-cost negligence, but as a communication error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently the heart will believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You're lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney, however. Something happened? We can control the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes, and for the investigation over this case will be directed by the chief of police again. I can do nothing but wait for his result. I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along, you've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still, wow, I've never seen so I've never seen him this sort of sort. Okay, well, it's probably not a good idea to show him much evidence. But what about the SL9 incident? I know you. You probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on. The SN9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You're the man who revived the worst memory of my life, as I recall. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. A bad memory. He's talking about the murder in the, ele in the elevator. Okay, Edward. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. That was easy. This online incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Diamond Gand. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too, then? He was the best we had. It was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edward? What I want to know is why one was the chief of police on the investigation. In truth, I use slightly more ancient methods than normal. We're dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We want a dirty verdict, but it, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't? Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I would do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. That wasn't complete. I need more out of this. That's what he's been saying. Okay, he says the same thing. Yes, again, okay. What else do I got? Hmm. Why not? Oh, right. I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? I record why the card is eight. Edward, you went to the evidence from that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. But why, Mr. Edgeworth? 
Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By the chief no less. The chief of police? You had an evidence for the case of Rotterdam from half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was so, right? It would have to be if the evidence was ever filed. The chief is never one to explain itself. In any case, under the under the stabbing, I wrote this back here. Can I have what kind of case it was? I can say. It really has nothing to do with the crit case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. Huh. To bonus always. I thought you said something to do with the green case. By the way, Hema, did you proceed to learn that to know something? M my sister? What? Shut up, Bomber. You still working on that sense You still working on that sense fiction investigation? Huh? Y yes, of course. Why, just today Mr. Ryan and I were using this. Luminal testing fluid, hmm? Huh? Well then, you might have a use for this. Aluminum powder for taking your fingerprints? It's been chemically treated for better addition. For me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no sense to this I have no sense to this investigation. Do as you will. Edward, I really no need to thank me. Here, take your powder and take fingerprint files for everyone involved. I uh, yeah, thanks. How about giving these to the Gumshu as well? Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious imprint somewhere. Well, let's go back. Uh, no, that's not what I'm going to do. Please move. Uh. Oh, look at that. She's gone. And now we'll head over back into the circuit of Garfis and into the evening room. Oh hey, Drake is gone too. Our investigation turned to a suspicious imprint. Here, in this blood, I'm the detective of the locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger is behind a slightly different print. So let's choose the finger that we have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit, pro quit procrastinating and choose a finger. Well, she wants me to pick the finger that we see the most. That'd be the one that's on the thumb. Okay, now it's time to check for friends. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? Just print and press the hit button, see? Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? Maybe shake the Wiimote would have been a more accurate way of putting it. Imagine you blowing out the candles on birthday cake with a fan. See? Wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to though. It's fine, it won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder and take and blow away your extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I'd better give it a try. Oh good, I got a point again. I need to turn. Okay. Oh, I need to... okay. Yeah, that should do it. Ah, you did it! You found one! But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Hit, think it means? <laughs> Typo. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint was have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, come down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigation. But it does seem a shame. Why we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the logger door again closely. It seems like there are other fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. 
Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm, fingerprints outside the blood. Yeah, I see one right here. Okay. Hey there. Hey. Come on. Don't tell me I don't have enough. Fine, I'll just try again. Well, now this time there's no way the fingerprint won't be complete. Yay, a print so clear is dazzling. D dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's fetch it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the runner is, right? I guess it's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth and point out the person you think left this print. Huh? How am I supposed to do... How am I supposed to know who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So, whose fingerprint will have most likely... So, whose fingerprints would be most likely found on this Lieutenant's locker? Well... I don't have to come... I don't have to take a wild guess here, because this is Gumshoe's locker. So, I already know the answer. I knew it! Haha! So this friend belongs to the Gumshoe. Something wrong, is it right? You gave me this so wet look. I guess that's probably because I was taking so wet. Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but that's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You get over the punches, Mr. Right. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Indeed. Wait. So I... Oh, you're right. Can I do it the same way I... Okay. I guess I'll just have to examine the locker. This is where we got a limited fruit reduction, right? Right, there was a handprint here. Okay, want to try using this? Take the water eyes sparkling again. Check for prints. Okay, let's check for prints. That's a spirit. Oh, but I had to warn you about something first. What? The area where the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So, that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that were not wiped away. Prints other than the ones that left... Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Okay, so... Oh, okay, hold on. I came up with something here. Let's spray. Come on, spray it all around. And try and make sure you don't leave a space. I don't want the same thing that happened with Gumshoe happened here. Okay, that should do it. Okay, oh, wait. Well, I can't check for fingerprints and compare on, on the file, but I already know the answer, so let's just go with him. Oh, wait. I, I just noticed it was a. I could actually see it up there.
Hey, this finger prints. They... Who's are they? Who's? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Uh, Officer Drake Marshall? Th that's gotta be a coincidence. Is that involved with the crime? Emma. This are this is at least a friend from the Detective Gumshoe's prints. The Illuminum reaction. The blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. Oh! So, we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a ripe brood's tail. But why would Officer Marshall... It looks like her investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I... I don't believe it. To be continued. Oh wait, to be continued. Thankfully, because I couldn't wait for this to be over. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on the continuation of Let's Play Phoenix Wright: Ace Attorney: Rise from the Ashes.